Yo, what's up? This is Mike. I'm V, and this is the Mike and V Bodybuilding Show, episode 23. Back at the Mecca, our home. Mike, what's up, man? What's up, buddy? We got a special guest today. Very special guest. If you don't know who this person is, you've been living in a cave for the rest of your whole life. <laughs> but yeah. Let me take one of your words. Synonymous with bodybuilding <laughs> in that industry. It the is. one and only. One and only. Homegrown here in Arizona, Felicia Romero, IFBB Pro, spokesmodel. Spokesperson, motivational speaker, uh, promoter, co- promoter of shows. She's been on the cover of Flex Magazine five times, uh, top five Miss Olympia, four top three finishes at uh, Miss Fitness International. Jeez, the list just goes on and on. So, a brand name in the fitness industry. We're very happy to announce and have our guest today, Felicia Romero. Come on out. Oh my gosh, hi guys. How are you? Hi. Is that a big enough introduction? I want you to keep talking. I want you to keep talking. Can I take you home with me? That'd be awesome. Yeah, well, you'll have a recording. Jealous. It might. Yeah. It might, actually. <laughs> well, yeah, just thanks you know, so much for having me on. I'm excited. Yeah. We're excited to have you on here, too. So yeah. before we dive into the uh, fitness stuff, I want yeah. to know what the nickname Feet, where'd that come from? Feet. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so this is a long story, but essentially my family calls me Peach, which I don't know why. They started calling me when I was a kid. It's for Felicia. But um, my ex, he actually, he thought my mom had said Feet, not Feet, so he just started calling me Feet. So now everybody actually calls me Fee. So nobody calls me that anymore because everybody always thinks, oh, does she have like weird feet, feet or something? Or something? <laughs> no, I actually have really good feet, okay? Really good feet. So that has nothing to do with it. <laughs> okay, good. That's good. Yeah. So, you know, you're promoting a show here now. I am. And I'm uh, putting that on my resume, promoting. I teamed up with Miles Niesel, um, and we're doing a show here in about um, the November show. It's from about 15th and 16th with Glacier Pro Figure Classic along with the NPC Western Regional. And I'm really excited about it. Wow. Let's talk about that just for one second, because I think it's great that you stepped up and you stepped in, and, and they're, they're using you to kind of push, and, and, and you're going with it. Yeah. But in case people don't know what, and this is a program, program, correct? Program. Mm-hmm. So maybe you can kind of explain what the program is for anybody that might not know what, what, what this show's about. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you have to think about it. You know, it's hard just throwing on a pro show. It's hard to get, first of all, people in the audience, and it's hard to promote a pro show, because most of the audience is going to come from your local your local people, right. you know, mm-hmm. supporting the local competitors so it just made sense to do a pro-am you know and we might as well you know I'm starting out with, with my favorite you know division figure and hopefully over the years kind of add some more divisions so we're gonna you know bite off not we don't want to bite off more than we can chew so so it'll just be figure not bikini figure, not physique. figure the first year next year we'll try to have all the divisions so yeah awesome yeah so it'll be the pro is actually the figure and then yeah. you have the NPC and all the classes yeah yeah absolutely all of so ran just like the NPC show and then we'll have a pro show along with it so that's very yeah. cool. That's yeah, awesome. yeah. It's very cool. What a way! I mean, being from Arizona, and you're you're pretty much building the sport here in Arizona. So yeah, you know, we'll everyone here, it's up to us to go to the show yeah. and all come together. And it'd be a shame to have a pro am and not sell the place out. Well, yeah, and I think we've talked about that on a few different uh, episodes. I think that it's a responsibility as bodybuilders, all of us that are in this industry. If these shows aren't selling out, it really is on us as competitors and as people that are involved in this sport. It's our job to bring people into these stands, you know. And bring them into the seat. So let's sell the let's sell the show out, guys. Absolutely. I mean, I started here in Arizona. That's where I, you know, my roots started here. So hey, I went to ASU. Yeah, I grew up here. Went to ASU. Now I'm promoting shows here. So you know, my roots are here. So yeah, come out and support. Very cool. Yeah. And you know, she's a business owner, she's a political science major. Obviously, mm-hmm. you have a good head on your shoulders. How do you get through political science? I mean, I fell asleep in that class. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I love politics. It's not something that I grew up with, so I didn't wasn't around at the dinner table talking politics. And I just kind of, I don't know, what interested me. I wanted, you know, my passion sits with making a difference. And so I knew that politics wasn't going to be my thing. I love fitness. So I got into fitness and making a difference in that way. So, you know, it's all about helping people and really just getting the word out, which is why I think motivational speaking kind of came so easy for me. Yeah. So, yeah. Very cool. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah. You, you're a huge inspirational figure for everybody here. I mean, everybody that talks about fitness, your name, Felicia Romero, comes up. So, you know, you're doing the motivational speaking thing. I know that you haven't closed the door on competing, but is that something maybe you could... I don't know. As of now, (laughs) I'm retired. As of now. But you never know. You know, you never know. I'm working on getting my body back to a healthy state. And it's all about your health, everybody. You know, if I can just stress the importance of your health versus like having to win a show or doing this or doing that. It's gotta be, you should live with your body 365 days a year. So you have to be healthy and content with yourself. So, you know, never say never. 
And, and talk about that because uh, I read an article and it was one of your blogs. Mm -hmm. How your first two years as a pro, you made some mistakes on your off season, and yeah. you found that you know your off season is actually just as important as your contest prep. So tell everybody what that means. Yeah, there, I mean honestly, essentially there is no off season. Right. You know there isn't. We you, talk about that. You yeah. started interrupting yeah, on several of these time. episodes. You talk about, and we want that women's perspective on it because. We think like dieting really is about that 12 weeks that you're with somebody. It's like more like that 24 weeks. It's that yeah. learn learn what happens after the diet, that rebound effect, and especially I think it's multiplied like 10 times for women. Yeah. You know, yeah. um, I mean for the guys. It it's, just it doesn't make sense thing. for it doesn't make sense dieting from 12 to 16 weeks. Extreme dieting, you know, depleting certain whatever you drop in your carbs, increasing cardio doesn't make sense for you to completely 180 that and completely binge and not work out for a couple weeks. Of course, your body's going to gain weight. Once you gain that weight and you rebound, very difficult to get off. And the more you do that, the more your metabolism is affected. So I just, I try to help, I try to educate, you know, obviously live through my experiences and help other girls. So, yeah. And personal training is obviously a big thing. And yeah. you started one of the biggest studios that are around. Yeah. And uh, are you going to get back into personal training? I've been personal training. I'm, oh, in, I'm at Alton Gilbert at Fitness okay. Evolution. Um, you know, because that's where my passion sits. I love it. I'm developing a big program there, which I'm huge on childhood obesity. I was just on News Channel 3 this morning talking about childhood obesity. Um, and I, you know, that's where my passion sits. Again, helping people, fighting this obes obesity epidemic, um, educating people. Because for me, it's all about health. You know, yeah, I, I motivational speak and I train and I promote and I, I do all these things, but health is like, for me, my biggest passion. Sure. Yeah. And I think when I think about you, Felicia, I think about because when you read your when you read your posts and you read things that you put up, it's about giving back for you. And, and I just heard it. You, you, you said it. You helping said about others. Your, helping others and giving back, and that's really like what our platform is in, in, is for. And, and so I commend you for that. You know, that's, that's making a difference, and that's that's about character. So. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate that. And so um, outside of bodybuilding, yeah, um, I always get the question, what do you do for fun? <laughs> well, I don't well, date, first well, of all. <laughs> well, she's a Gemini, in case anybody's curious. Yeah, um, <laughs> You are a Gemini. Right? I am, yeah. Okay, you like hiking. I love hiking. I'm totally sidetracked when I was about to ask you. Thank you. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> outside of bodybuilding. What well, do I do long for walks fun? What do I do for beach? fun? Long walk, what's that? What do I do for fun? Yeah, no, that's what I was going to ask. What okay. do you do for fun? Tell the people what you yeah, do for fun. Yeah, um, I just, you know what? I'm active. I like being outdoors. I love, you know, just taking, like, a long drive. to face it, you know, just going up to the north for the weekend. Um, movies. I'm a homebody. I love my dogs. I love being home. love spending time with my family. So I'm pretty simple. I'm huge pretty Seinfeld simple. fan? Huge Seinfeld fan. We got some Seinfeld trivia. Yeah. What was Kramer's first name? This is like so easy. You're not going to stop me. That's my dog's name, Cosmo. <laughs> oh my God. I named my dog <laughs> after Cosmo Kramer. All right, all right, one more. Okay. Um, there was a Christmas card that Elaine sent out, yeah. and there was something showing on that card that wasn't supposed to be there. What was it? Well, it was her nipple. <laughs> <laughs> I had a hard time. Well, She's good. I had a hard time saying that word. And then I was asking, I was asking I love it. earlier, like, oh my gosh, can you see anything? And I was like, oh, I don't see any nipples. And I don't like and, saying that word. Okay. Yeah, I know. And I, know. And I said, that's so funny. Felicia, no, I can't see anything. <laughs> So we have the, what is it called? It's Felicia Romero. Felicia Romero Pro Figure Classic. Pro Figure with Classic. NPC Western Regional. Yeah. Nice. And then, and again, so people, if they want to train with you, are you, I mean, are you taking on clients? I am. You? I'm not taking on lots of clients, so the times are very selective. But yeah, I mean, you know, reach out. I have a lot of online. And they can contact you. Yeah, um, through my email or, you know, um, Facebook, Instagram. Um, I'm creating a website right now. So I'm, I'm out there. Just, I mean, you, it's not hard to find me. And then you're training out in Gilbert. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Very cool. I mean, all your posts are, are all fitness related. They're all centered around helping others. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, I mean, I just think you're awesome. Oh, and we've been wanting to you. have you on the show. How long have I been asking I you know, to be on the show? For a little bit. And so, for our schedule's bit. finally, you know, I'm like, you know, I'm going to go out because I wanted to come out and support you guys. I think it's awesome what you guys are doing. And I'm sweaty just being yeah. around oh, you. Oh, no, don't yeah. worry. We sweat through <laughs> no, the, every episode. Like so. Why are you wearing my shirt? <laughs> I thought we coordinated this. No, that's what I meant. I wanted us to look good. Oh, no. Oh my gosh. Um, you know, the, one thing that we do ask, and obviously you probably have a network of people that, that have gotten you to this point. Yeah. Um, so who is it that you, maybe you want to thank that, that will be watching that has gotten Felicia Romero to this point here? Yeah. Honestly, there, there isn't one specific person because sure. I've had a long journey. It's been like nine years since I've been in the industry. So there's been tons of people that have helped me on my journey. And, you know, people who have stu stood by me, um, close friends and family, even my family. Sure. My mom has been my number one supporter. Um, and she has helped me tremendously with so many things, not just like, you know, motivating me and, and, and 
being proud of me, but also like she's gotten me through some hard, hard mental situations. So family's family's the best. Number one. Yeah. That's awesome. And yeah. your family's all here too, right? They're all here. Glad yeah. you're lucky. That's well, being a, a collegiate athlete. Mm -hmm. I mean, you've always been involved in sports. Yeah. You're working out at the gym one day, and you see a poster for an NPC, yeah. and you're like, "What is this?" So yeah. you go home, you research it, mm -hmm. you find out, "Hey, this might be something I want to do." Mm -hmm. And then you do the show, you got yeah. third place. Yeah. Now, was your second show the USA's and you got your pro card? No, my second show was the show, the, the following show, the following year, the Arizona. And I got first place. And okay. then I didn't, I waited, I didn't compete like I do now. Because now girls do like five, six shows a year. Right, yeah. I didn't do that. When I was first started, I was like, oh, one show, okay, I'm good for a while. And then I'll do it next year. So I did the USA, or I did, you know, the one show here got third place. My second show was the um, Arizona here got first. Then I came back to the USA's the following year. I got first, and I won my pork card. So, wow. yeah. so your third show. Yeah. Got yeah. your pro. Oh, wow. yeah. That's awesome. Uh, yeah. So how'd that feel? So, I mean, can you take oh, us back gosh. to that moment, that winning moment? I didn't even know what to expect. I didn't know what a pro was. <laughs> I just <laughs> loved competing. I mean, that's where it truly really started. I loved it, you know? And it's naturally what you did after you did a local show. You did a, 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 a national show. So I just went out there, just had fun. Um, then when I got a first call out, I was like, whoa, okay. And I didn't understand call outs either. Like, oh, well, they put you in the middle. That means you're right, right, yeah. And I don't know anything about that. So I just, I got a first call. I was like, pretty sweet. I got a first call out. I might make top five. So the night show came around, the finals, and, you know, they call out the fifth, fourth, third, and they came down to two girls. I was literally like a deer in headlights. I have the video. <laughs> Every once in a while, I go back and look at it just to see kind of like, you know, how it started. And I literally look like I was going to fall off the stage. Wow. I was deer in headlights. So, and then I was scouted by Muscle and Fitness Her Scout, a model scout. The rest is history. I was out a week later shooting my first spread for Muscle and Fitness Hers, and then, you know, now six covers later. So, yeah. Well, it's that it's Status Magazine is one Status there. Magazine, Oxygen, um, Two Time Flex Magazine, um, Muscle and Fitness Hers. So, oh, it was five times. Yeah, yes, five times. But yeah, one I, is, I did my homework, she yeah. didn't. <laughs> five <laughs> times, but one is coming up. I'm shooting another cover in about four weeks. Wow. So, yeah. wow. Well, I think that that goes with that tag of being an IFB pro. There's, to me, there's a certain prestige and an honor by having that. And I think that you go above and beyond most people. And so again, I can't say enough about you and that's why we wanted to have you on the show. Not only are you yeah. an inspiration, but it's you, you epitomize what a pro should be at this yeah. level. And so yeah, no thank you. We really we really do yeah. appreciate having, having you on the show. Yeah. And who, besides the poster, yeah. who is the girl that you looked at and you're like, I want to look like her? Is it you just look in the mirror and say I just want to no. look like myself? You know what? I, I I used to compare myself to others and I remember when I was getting ready for my first Olympia and I'm I have no idea what I'm doing. It's my first Olympia. I'm just excited to be on stage. Right. Biggest mistake I made, biggest mistake, was I looked online and I looked up Monica Branch, who was also competing. She was my fitness idol. A lot of newcomers don't know who she is, because, but I'm a veteran in the sport, so I know who Monica Branch is. I looked up her. I competed with her. Um, so I remember seeing a video of her training five weeks out. I was like, OMG. I do not look like her. She was just muscular right. and really hard and... I didn't look like that, you know what I mean? And I was okay with it, but I still was scared. You know, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm not going to do well. I ended up placing a bumper. So, wow. again, it's not always about you comparing yourself to others. You have to look your best on that day as yourself. You know, you can't, you can't you're can't. you not going to have this girl's body or this guy's body. You're just not, you know? So, you have to show up your best self that day. And so, the worst thing you do is compare yourself with apples and oranges. Um, just go out there and just have fun if I need to say anything. You know, there are so many times where I put so much pressure on myself, I caused so much anxiety that it affected me on stage. And I'm like, what did I do? Cortisol that levels through the room. Cortisol. So you're holding <laughs> water and sweating sure. and nervous. And I'm like, why did I do that? I worked all of those weeks That's to. That's Romero. Yeah, I know, right? No, and you know, it's I'm just as self critical as the next. And so I look at that, I'm like, I wish that I didn't do that. You know, I wish that I just kind of just relaxed and just had fun, which now I just try to. Again, emphasize enough to these girls, like, just have fun with it, you know? And what you said, um, and I don't want to misquote you, but don't try to be someone else, be happy with who you are. Yeah. Or, or, is yeah. That kind of you can't you're... chase perfection. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. You can't chase perfection. Yeah. That was the yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. Because you can't. You are not going to be perfect, you know? Yeah. Even though how you, and especially with this sport, very subjective. So we try to be the perfect bodies. And honestly, it's so difficult because you're going to be trying to live up to the standard that you can't always live up to. So. And would that be, um, what is the dark side of fitness? I know you just had a recent interview. Yeah. You talked about the dark side of fitness. Will yeah. we talk about that on the Michael B. Barnacle show? Yeah, I mean, the dark side of fitness is just getting caught up into it, you know? 
forgetting about your families, forgetting about the things that are important to you, because that one day is so important. And granted it is, but you shouldn't have to sacrifice your family and friends for it. You can find a balance. So the dark side is that unbalance, you know, the, the getting so caught up to it that you forget who you are and what you are, and then when you come to the end of it, you're kind of like flooded with all this emotion, depression, um, anxiety, all these things. And I think it's a serious issue, you know? Um, you need to have the balance. You need to go out and have a social life. And don't, you know, neglect your husband or boyfriend or family it's, and your kids. I mean, it's, it's right. you know, because at the end of the day, five seconds on stage is not worth the lifetime of, of that sort of resentment. So if I could just stress it all enough, you know. Yeah. And I don't have a family. I have no kids. So I'm just going off of the things that I've seen, the people that I know that it's happened to. It's, it's, it's unfortunate. Um, and then, if anybody hasn't seen Felicia Romero at the shows, I've had several clients and female clients, and I'm like, help me, yeah. and you just like, I got them, it's cool, and yeah. you took them, you did their makeup for them, yeah. and that's just something that you don't see as someone that's really receptive to helping others, yeah. because you love it. Yeah. I mean, you don't do it because you have to, or yeah. you're putting on some image for people, and you do it because you like it, yeah, I mean, you're so genuine. And I was there, you know, and I wish someone right. would help me, you know what I mean? So, it's not an easy thing to get up on stage in a bikini or, in, you know, swim trunks or, you know, the big right. the little underwear the guys wear, sorry. <laughs> Um, We're called posing trunks. Posing yeah, that's right. <laughs> I always correct everyone. Like, you guys wear them speedos. I know. <laughs> you know they like to call them bikinis. I'm like, no, it's just posing trunks. Well, yeah. I think that, I think that again, that you, you just you pass a good message. You, you bring up self-image. I think it's huge with women in that sector about self-image and, and bringing that platform of working out and just feeling good and you spread that message. So, I mean, like, you have the ability to be able to affect a lot of people, yeah. and I think that you're aware of that. So, I think you're doing good things. Again, I can't say enough about what you got going on out here. It's very similar to our platform as far as positivity and yeah. running with it. So, yeah. again, I commend you. Thank we appreciate you. having you on the show Thank so you. much. Uh, is there anything else that, that you want to do? Sponsors. I mean, you were with Gaspari yeah. Nutrition for a while. You're not with no, Gaspari anymore. I'm not with Gaspari anymore. They're a great company. Uh, but, you know, a lot of changes within the Maybe company. Maybe you gave me some size on it. Yeah. Oh, size stuff. sounds great. Yeah. <laughs> no, a lot of changes within the company. I saw lots of respect for Gaspari, but not with them anymore, obviously. You know, people move on and things change. Um, yeah, I mean, I've been, you know, um, I have a lot of small. I have actually a couple of sponsors. Um, yeah. I've been drinking this new drink called Youth H2O. It's kind of like an antioxidant, anti-aging. They're everywhere. They're on a national, you know, national scale. Love them. I'm actually working with High Health. Um, I'm their youth ambassador. So in about a month, I'm going to be going to all the high schools and really get, get you know, to the kids who especially awesome. play sports. Okay, so you think about high school. Especially the boys, the girls, they start getting into supplementation, and they don't know what they're doing. You know what I mean? They're taking whatever they see in a magazine, whatever their friend's taking, whatever their favorite baseball player's taking, whatever, but they still don't know what it's doing for them. So I'm going in there and I'm educating. So as part of my youth ambassadorship for High Health, High Health's the main sponsor, um, I'm going in there and educating these kids about the proper way to take supplements, the right supplements, and nutrition. So, yeah. That's really Involved cool. with the community. Yeah. I mean, giving back to the sport, Felicia Romero. Awesome girl. Great competitor. Um, genuine person. Thank you. Easy on the eyes. <laughs> my wife's going to kill me that yeah. one. You got it. I'm, I'm in trouble. I'm sweaty right now. No, we all are. <laughs> yeah. We all are. Literally. It's only 99 degrees in here, so. It's really warm. <laughs> Well, so anything else, any message that you want to send out to um, anybody? No, uh, I just say, you know what, go out and support the show, November 15th and 16th. Um, I'm really on a push right now, to, and we're doing a model search with that, too. Muscle and Fitness Hers is coming out, and they're teaming up with James Patrick, and we're doing a model search, and anybody who competes in the show is eligible for the contest. So um, get out there and compete, ladies, you know, so you might have a chance at a spread. Nice, yeah. nice. Well, thank you so thank much for coming you. on the show. Thank you. Um, we want to thank our sponsors, MHTH. MHTH Fury Lounge. Ford, um, Who else is it? SNS Nutrition. SNS Nutrition. Ironinfinity.com. Oh, the list is growing. The list is growing. Uh, awesome. Felicia's going to sponsor the Mike and B Bodybuilding yeah. Show. On some capacity. Remember, guys, go out, get some tickets. It's our responsibility to sell this show out. We have to sell this out if we want these to grow and continue to have pro shows here in Phoenix. So get a ticket. Get involved. If you haven't got a chance to come down to Metroflex Gym, come on down. You guys can come in, work out for free, check it out. Hey, we appreciate you guys watching the show. Absolutely. Thank Mike you. Best, Felicia Romero, Vincent DJ Hills on the Mike and B Bodybuilding Show platform. Thanks, for all guys. Bodybuilders. Thanks for watching. Bye.